I know my circles, I know my name Another sequel is on the way oh. Good morning beautiful people! Good morning beautiful people! We are still in Salento, we are driving south towards Santa Maria di Leuca and this stretch of the coast is really wild with a lot of caves, blue water. Every two minutes you need to stop and go on the beach, enjoy the water. So we need to choose. I'm always like, uh, Sara, let's stop. Can I do a drone <laughs> footage, please? I want to see this, I want to record that. And uh, yeah, there are so many things. Uh... We left the beautiful beach Baia dei Turchi, close to Otranto. Now we just drove through Otranto and outside the city there is a really unique place that it's called Cava di Bauxite, Bauxite Cave, that was used from 1940 till 1976. It has this beautiful contrast color, green and red. The red of the soil is so intense and the, the green of the vegetation around it is really beautiful. The characteristic dark red color of the rocky walls is determined by the minerals contained in the bauxite cave which is the main element for the aluminium composition it looks like we are back in the united states it seems not to be in italy with this kind of landscape unfortunately this uh, site is completely abandoned nobody is taking care of it if you want to visit it you need to pay the parking that it's three euro for the entire day so it's a fixed rate Usually in Italy when there is something that it's for free, like this side attraction, uh, then they find a way to let you pay anyways, so in this case it's the parking lot. But we think that it's worth a stop, just because it's really not ordinary, the colors are not ordinary for this area, for Italy. at Punta Palacia. Why Punta Palacia is so important? We are in Otranto area and Punta Palacia is not only the must eastern tip in uh, Italy but it's also the junction between the Ionian Sea and the Adriatic Sea. Are you happy to be here? Yes. And just in front of us there is Albania, Albania. So we are really really close to the Balkanic area. Today we cannot see anything because it's a little bit cloudy on that side but when it's really clear you can see the other coast. I think it's really interesting and all this area is really similar to the Balkanic area. They say the landscape, the tradition, the culture, people. Okay, let's go to see the lighthouse. driving there there is a concert on the beach talk talk oh wow 
coming. possible that nothing is falling down and it's falling apart it is falling apart <laughs> because it's almost uh, i don't know i think it's about 300 years old on the side of the road. We found this. It's incredible. They abandoned this. I think they are fixing it. Uh, yeah. Every year. Bundokin, we are not so distant from the road, but it's not the main road. It's just a, a Lithuania, another road that is following the coast. But look at our view. It's like flying. Luigi, are you happy about this location? I am. We are going that direction, guys. We came from here. So that is east. Yeah. That is south. Exactly. And that is north. Yeah. yeah. I have a big mess to organize. The drive was rough. We went to buy some groceries, some food for tonight, because we knew that we will stay off grid tonight. So, you know, the fridge is small. And it's still really hot during the day, so every time we buy something, we need just to think, okay, this is what we will eat today or maximum tomorrow. We cannot store a lot of food. But it's okay, we like, we like this way. And now it's time to eat our dinner, guys. We bought something that it's really easy to, to prepare. Some chicken, some fresh salad, we have the parmesan, we have some olives. Grissini. We are ready to enjoy our dinner. Delicious. Delicious. Can wait. Let's go. Let's go. Begin. Buona notte, beautiful people. See you tomorrow. Good night. Hello, my borders. Hello again. is full of jewels you don't see anything from the road yeah you see <laughs> you see the sea and you see this beautiful color everywhere but then you need to stop the car and go walk and really discover some hidden gems yeah some of them 
there are no signs, uh, there is nothing there pointing. If you search online, uh, you will find all the, the names of these places and you just park the car in the parking lot uh, and you take three steps uh, and you discover things that uh, you would never imagine that were there. You really need to know where you are going and where you want to go, otherwise if you just drive on the Litorania you can miss a lot of beautiful, beautiful places. But maybe it's better like this because Puglia is becoming really touristy. The tourism here is growing super fast, yeah. it's something uh, incredible. The beauty of the nature, Fiki India. Have you ever tried the Fiki India? It's not so common. I will show you then what is a fiki d'india, a fico d'india, a plant. This Mediterranean nature, it's, it's dry, the soil is dry, but really green at the same time. Macchia Mediterranea. Yes. Palazzo Sticchi. It is a landmark site in the seaside town of Santa Cesaria Terme. It's privately owned so it's not possible to see it inside but I think it's a really good example of the Arabic influence that all this stretch of coast has. And this is just a random Moorish palace in south of Italy. We can find other more. It was built in 1894, so it's not so old compared to other buildings and palaces that we have in Italy. But it's still interesting to see. It has a beautiful view, this, this prominent position with the view of the sea all around. These are Fiki d'India. All these plants here. Kind of cactus. Do you like Fiki d'India, Luca? Uh, the fruit, I mean. I, 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 need, I, I tasted once. Uh, I Together need, with me. <laughs> with you. So now I don't remember exactly how was the taste. I, I, wa I would like to taste it again. Just stop one second because I would like to show you. These are Fiki d'India. These or the red ones over there. You can find everywhere along the streets, along the roads. I'm speechless. <laughs> Look at this color. <laughs> okay guys, I think we are going down there and we are going to swim in there. So you don't know what you're doing And the walls are closing in Just remember where we're going And remember where we've been We can breathe underwater Nothing can hurt us anymore And that's how I want this. <laughs> All for you? <laughs> wow. <laughs> and here around the corner there is a cave that is called Grotta Zinzulusa. Just behind here. <laughs> You know, in Italy we don't have just Capri, we don't have just the Amalfi Coast, we don't have just Rome, Venice, Florence, Cinque Terre. We have a lot more to discover and to enjoy. Yes. And of course, we'll visit also the biggest and the famous cities that we have in Italy. But we want to show that there is something else. 
it's not just that uh, there is a lot of uh, underrated places uh, that we will show you in this uh, series of uh, Italian van life and the world will dance around us they want to know what we've got Kilometers south of the Grotta, the cave Zinzulusa, there is another magical place that is called Insenatura Acqua Viva. Now we will go. The parking lot is free, starting from the 1st of September. So even if the lines are blue, usually when the lines are blue, you need to pay for it. When they are white, they are free. When they are yellow, they are just for residents. So you need to have a sign that certifies that you are living in that area. like to live here, stay here forever. It's really hot today. Wow, yes. Quite hot. Just received a message, welcome to Greece. We are so close uh, to Greece uh, right now that probably he thinks we're there. It's time to harvest the Fiki India. Okay. I would like to take this one and the one there. One. Okay. Two. One here. Yeah. Huge harvest. <laughs> And these are the natural pools of Marina di Serre. After touring, I think 30 kilometers on the coast in Salento, we'll stop here at Marina di Serre. I will put some fresh juice in our fridge. It's really efficient. This is not the best fridge you can ever buy, but it's okay. It was around 200 euros. It's doing the job. I think it's great for what we need. You see some salad, avocado, some fruit, some water, some fresh juice, some cheese. But now it's so hot that we really need to refresh ourselves into this beautiful water. A natural swimming pool just for us. Yeah. And here there is a ancient tower. Just for us and a lot of other people. Is it cold? Huh? Yeah. But it's okay. I need it. Let's go. Yeah. Three, two, one.
Instagram. Take a shower. Yes. Lucky there is free water here. Sweet water. So we can take all the salt from our skin. Away. That was amazing and now it's time for lunch. Preparing some delicious salad. Uh, yes. With tuna fish, uh, with mozzarella, artichokes, and sunflower seeds. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. And now it's time to taste our prickly pears. They seem really innocent, but they are full of thorns. I will show you now a way to peel them without getting harmed by the thorns. The secret is fire. Okay, you put the prickly pear on the fire for about one minute, it's enough. Don't worry about the fruit, they have a really strong Taste it. Good. This is the right of me. No fire with hands hands <laughs> and after the traditional local lesson now we know how to peel them and how to heat them thank you to el maestro that guy is 86 years old we just found a spot for tonight with the Bad view. view and uh, we can also swim uh, down there if we want uh, down there we can go on the beach uh. There is just one, two cars left and we move, we change location, we park Luigi on this side. On the side of the sea, because uh, this place is the only place where we have a signal uh, reception on our phone, so we can use internet and work. So and we use for the first time the Fiamma level up. It's to better the level up or it's better rocks or wood? No, this one is super easy, <laughs> you can, uh, there are uh, different uh, levels, uh, so on the other side uh, we put it on the top uh, yeah. and this side uh, we put it in the middle because uh, it's the way to level the, the van uh, on this uh, kind of situation. I like this location. And we are inside our Luigi, we had dinner and we are ready to go to sleep. We hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. If so, please uh, share it to us, uh, smashing the thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss a video and please consider to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done already. It is free and it will help us a lot. The Italian words for today's video are Doccia Shower Sabbia Sand Piscina Pool Doccia Shower Sabbia Sand Piscina Pool we love you guys, we appreciate you, thank you for coming along with us. And remember, la vita è bella. Life is beautiful. See you on the next one. Ciao. Ciao.